Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. Um, I quickly wanted to do a little tutorial on how to add your social icons to your website and link them to your social media pages. Um, this is a fairly quick and easy uh, thing to do. It's really important to drive traffic to your social media and through your social media back to your website. So let's get to it. It's something that is literally only going to take you a couple minutes. So um, wherever you want to place your social media icons, um, you got to figure that out first. A uh, great place to place them is going to be in your top header menu. Um, also down at the bottom um, in your footer is also a great place to put your social media um, icons um, and wherever else you feel like you want to place them, but that's probably the most popular places to find your social media icons. So first we're going to go up here to the ad symbol. We're going to click on that. You're just going to look for the social link right here. Click on that. Now here there's some different like style options. Um, we'll just do the simple black icons here. I'm just going to click on that, drag it to wherever you want to place it on here. We'll just add it to the strip up here. Now, obviously these are way too big, so you can adjust the size by clicking on this layout button and you can see the icon size. You can drag that and resize your icons. And then oh, adjust our strip size there. Okay, make sure that's centered here. And then if you go back to the layout, you can also customize your spacing so we can spread it out or bring them really close together, um, whatever you prefer. And once you're uh, once you're ready to add your social media accounts, you're gonna click the button that says set social links. So we're gonna go here and here you can remove any social media accounts that you don't want. Um, maybe you don't have a Twitter, you don't have a YouTube. So just get rid of the ones that you don't want or don't have. And once you're ready to add your social media accounts, you're gonna select the one you want to add. So Facebook, you're gonna come over here, click the link button, and you need to type in or copy and paste your social media URL. Um, and then just click done to save it. And you do that for each one. Don't forget to click the blue done button down here to save that. And then that way, when a customer clicks on your social media icons, it will take them right to your well, obviously yours, but <laughs> it would take them to your social media pages. Now, another thing that I want to show you guys, get back up here. So another really cool trick that I want to show you guys um, that you can do with your social media icons, um, your menu, um, really anything else is to pin it to your page so that it stays on the page, no matter if the customer is scrolling or not, they will always see your social media icons, etc. So um, let me show you an example of that. So what I'm going to do is actually let's make this go vertical here and we're just going to pin it um, to our home page here because when the customer is scrolling down, I want them to see the social media icons. That way they can click and go to my social media pages anytime. So. So to do that, we are going to right click on the icons and you're gonna go down here to pin to screen. And it's gonna ask you, where do you want to pin this item? So these are your options and then you can adjust how far uh, vertically or horizontally you wanna place it. So let's just say we wanna do it in the upper right-hand corner here. And so this is the current placement, but let's move it over a little bit. So we're going to adjust the horizontal offset, bring it over a little bit, maybe like right here. And we'll bring it down a little bit. I don't know, like right there. So close this, it's going to save it. So now if we preview this, 
you can see no matter where I scroll on this site, the social media links are right in front of me. So that's going to be really great to like drive people to your social accounts and just always um, be connected with them. So that's a really cool little trick. And again, you can do that with uh, your social icons. You can do that with your main menu navigation. Uh, you do that with like a button or something. So whatever you want your customer to continuously see, you can pin to the page. Um, to unpin it, you would just again right click go to pin settings and unpin this element if you changed your mind or wanted to unpin it for whatever reason so so there you go that's just a quick uh, little tutorial on social icons so if there's anything else that you guys want to see uh, please leave it in the comment section and make sure to like and subscribe for more videos